Anyways, let's get into our awesome things of the week. It's a very Apple-y day, of course. But first, let's toss it to Dave with the non apple uh, news of the week. Very, very cool stuff coming oh. out of space. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Before I was into photography or anything else, I was into space. Mm -hmm. And that's why I spent six and a half years down in Morgantown, West Virginia. There, yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I, I spent down there. So the fact that there are drones, on, there, drone, I should say drone, drone on Mars now is just mm -hmm. exciting. The fact that... Um, I love the fact that NASA put out the live stream and you saw the drone go up. I mean, it went around, you know, 10 feet, but still it's on Mars. Yeah. The yeah. fact that the atmosphere is a hundredth the thickness and everything else that goes along with that, trying to deal with the whole, the different atmosphere, the amount of dust going there. The very cool fact, they actually took a little bit of the fabric from the right flyer and they put it and they took it to Mars mm -hmm. to put it on the, to put it on the drone. That was just a nice little touch. That is. And then you have just the overwhelming joy of the engineers in the bill in the room. When, when they see it take off and you see the what the, I, I guess she is the, the lead engineer. I'm not, not sure who she is, but um, take the failure plan since they had everything kind of ripped, you know, they have the, if everything goes right, do this. If nothing goes right, here's our backup. Yeah. And so she just took it and just ripped it up. <laughs> right. And it's like, okay, we don't need the failure plan because yeah. it worked. We're having, it was just overwhelming excitement and joy. Um, and this is just the big deal for exploration of other planets because those rovers are the rover. Everything that NASA does is amazing. Mm -hmm. But the rovers are really limited on range, obviously, because they it's an eight-minute delay between Earth and Mars. So you can't remote control drive it. No. It's impossible. You're, you would drive it into something. So, it, And because everything has to be hardened for space so much, you can't do the cutting-edge information. And uploading speeds and downloading speeds are – they're better – uh, because in the Mars Observer, so they just kind of shoot it to orbit, then shoot it to Earth, instead of having to go all the way from Mars. So it's a little bit e quicker with the better antenna, but you still, because the delay in time, the, the launch cycle, how long it takes to get there, it would help to be able to, instead of crawling along, to go up, get a better look what's going around, and actually hop places, you know? We're going to fly from here to here. Okay, we're going to do samples, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then move to the next place. You can cover so much more area that way. So this is just a more of a proof of can it be done. And just knowing, like I said, with the different atmosphere, how Mars is, there's so much dust flying around where if you get a dust storm, even though there's less atmospheric pressure, there, it's enough grit that could throw off anything flying, especially especially something small. The fact it worked that well is just so, so exciting and so amazing. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not like, you know, the, you say you mentioned the controls, but you, yeah, it, it's, 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 you know, the particles in the air are, are, you know, and how, you know, buoyancy, all the physics that make things fly on our planet are different. <laughs> right yeah. so like which which solves for another problem it's like solve for some for an environment in this petri dish but the petri dish is 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 on the other side of the planet right and, and you can't you can get the equations working out you can do assumptions mm -hmm. on what previous you know measurements have done with the atmosphere and the the density and the winds and everything else you can make adjustments to those and those are nasty calculations mm-hmm those are there are so many assumptions that when it comes to uh, flight dynamics for a fixed wing aircraft, let alone a helicopter or a, you know a rotary um, device with the you know they 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 counterbalance. So you get you've got one spinning one way, one spinning the other, so they don't the torque doesn't happen. Right, but. That that's that is complicated, nasty, and hard, and there's tons of assumptions that are done just to get the calculations to work. Right. So a lot of those are assumptions like, oh, we assume this. Well, this is Mars. Can we assume this? I guess we're going to have to. Otherwise, 
the things won't work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just, just knowing they were able to do it. And like I said, if, if you look in the video that NASA put out the live stream around two thirds, three fourths of the way in, uh, when it works and you can just see the, this the joy and happiness that you can see. And I love the fact that they put a Mars helicopter mask on one of the computers. <laughs> I love I'm looking at I'm looking at the, the people in this and, and and like I'm seeing I'm seeing faces that look like I just like they look like the age of like who I'm just encountering in the aero design program with SAE. Like it's, they, it's, it's, no no. Yeah, they this, definitely this is a look young like crew. they're in their 20s and 30s. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I mean that that's that's incredible. So and and also the idea like I've probably I'm probably I'm probably encountering individuals that are going to be in a they're, they're probably going to be doing something on Mars, you know, with with mm -hmm. with these design and engineering competitions that we've been working with. So, you know, I, and and you know it, that's that's incredible, absolutely incredible. I love it, I love it. And of course, I, and I guess along with this big news, I guess uh, SpaceX just got a really big contract with NASA. Um, right, so so they got the the uh, the moon uh, lander contract. Mm -hmm. So they were able to do that very cheap. And one of the reasons they were able to, they were already planning a moon mission. Mm -hmm. So they already had, and they were the idea. I think from SpaceX was, well, we're building, you know, their current rockets. We're just going to use our current rockets for the moon landing that we want to do. Yeah, because so it, they already did all the a bunch of the background engineering versus they had already you know, been thinking thinking ahead to those ideas and designing for that and and having multi use uh, systems. So yeah. Uh, that yeah no that's incredible that that's awesome. It, uh, is is there anywhere that talks about like the drones like that landing kind of the they it's not a tripod a quad pod like the way that the legs come down. My fear would be is like it goes up, hits it, like lands on a hill. How does it level out for the next takeoff? Or is it by design that it could then be tilted to kind of then take off away from the structure? I'm, I'm interested in how that, how the base of it, why it's designed the way it is. Hmm. I'm sure it's somewhere. I haven't seen any explanation. I'm assuming also for this one, they're assuming take off and landing on a flat surface. Yeah. yeah. I would just be worried because you, you yeah. we were talking about like, you never know, or the wind, the wind kicks oh, up and it yeah. blows it a couple extra feet. <laughs> yeah. And then oopsie. Well, hopefully it does better than my little hundred dollar drone when there's like any <laughs> wind whatsoever <laughs> and, and it careens into the dog. Uh, Ooh. so yeah, yeah. So uh, get some some good stuff from space. Thank you, Dave, for uh, for uh, sharing that. Well, there was an Apple event today. We were speculating, and, and I feel like a lot more came out of it than I think anybody expected. Really, I I I, I, you know, I don't know how groundbreaking everything was, but there were definitely some big big updates that have us excited.